Once again, people, it is Gene Alcantara back to you with another video. We had recently just hit this amazing lick and taken down a giant drug trafficking and manufacturing cartel with the help of Vincent Effenberger, giving us leads in order to take down an organization that was causing problems for us. So, yeah, right now we are going to continue doing more business ventures with our guy jamal amir who is the cousin of wealthy socialite yusuf amir from the other grand theft auto games we are still selling some vehicles to him in a good state hey, to make sure that we are on his good traces. In the middle of the ocean is comforting right like maybe we won't die <laughs> maybe yusuf you and i both know that nothing in life is certain but it wouldn't Hi help there, honey. it's maud i got a proposition for you Mm -hmm. And I'll keep it short and sweet. I'm looking to hand over the reins. <laughs> if you catch my drift. Whoa. And pass the baton to a hungry bounty hunter looking to spread their wings. That's where you come in. I haven't heard of her in a while. need somebody to open another office for me. Mm -mm. This is a ripe opportunity for a young, cash-rich bounty hunter like yourself to run their very own bail enforcement agency. Now, I'll supply some of the staff and expertise. You just pick your favorite property off Maze Bank and pull the trigger. Whoa, far out. I guess I get to be a bounty hunter. All right, let me go check, see what kind of places we have here available. Just gonna narrow it down to the most likely candidates and places that I can go to. Okay, let's see. Far. Let's see. Yeah, this seems like the most likely place near where I live, like a whole bunch of other stuff near me. So I guess this will be a pretty good base of operations. All right, let me check. Hmm. Having more than one agent available so I can do things efficiently. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Personal quarters, of course, that's a must. A place where you can lay your head down is a good place. Gun locker, that's a must. Customizable stuff. And then also being able to put armor plating on a vehicle that you're going to use to apprehend criminals. Why wouldn't I want to go for this? All right, it's going to set me back around 4.8 mil. But, um... I think I'm more than qualified to get one of those. Hey again. Real glad you decided to take the leap on that bail office. Swing by when you get a second, okay? Just got a couple things to go over with you. Oh, and I want to introduce you to someone you'll be working with. See you soon. Sounds pretty good to me, Mod. Just give me a second. I just want to go to... A nearby clothing okay. store see what other type of clothes are available for this update this is the bounty we hunter update so i want to get me Make sure some uh, party onesies we because you know who business. wouldn't want to fight crime and also look good while doing it I'm doing a lot of that lately so uh, let me just hop off the boxes that I have for other types of clothing that we have access to. I can tell you. Have I've bought pretty days. much most of the catalog for clothes, but you know, if there's like any other bits of clothing here and there scattered about that I've probably missed out on, I would like to pick that up considerably so I can, you know, fulfill that OCD I have about having everything available to me. Damn, we even got the trickster long sleeve from the Dre contract. Okay. Sounds all right. Power play team. Thanks for shopping with us. Mm. All right, got some biker Enjoy open long sleeve cuts. Pretty good. I think those were the only ones that were like available for the update. I wonder if it's different for like alternate characters. Probably have to look into that.
Yeah, those are the only. That's the cut that I have right now. All right, cool. We got designer ish. Let me see. What else have I not bought? Okay, I don't see what else I have not bought. Probably something related to the career thing. If you can't, you know stuff. Side, All right, cool. I guess I'll buy that. Didn't know I needed to pick that up, but okay. T-shirts, any new T-shirts? I don't think there's any new T-shirts. There's a wide array. So if I can just get more stuff, that would be pretty cool. Some of them are compatible with the shirt that I have over myself right now, but it looks like I bought everything. Wow. Let's see if I can buy other stuff. Sorry, I didn't know you were there, lady. Hold on, let me just buy some more designer oh, sneakers. You. Glad you found get what you the, were for. I believe these are uh, the Puma. Tell your friends where you got it. My sneakers, camo brokers, the Yeezys. Yes, they are very nice. Let's just call them designer running shoes. So they pretty much do look like designer running shoes. So yeah. Okay. Got another stuff from the tourist board, but I'm ignoring that because that's not necessarily important to the stuff that I am pretty much picking up. Where are the accessories? Okay, here they are. Glasses. Okay, got some new glasses that we can wear. Make sure Always good to show back. up in style. We appreciate your business. Get your inner grunge on. It's always a must. Pretty good for us. I think I have pretty much almost everything. Let me see. I uh, accessories. This will be the last bit. All right. Okay. I would need to get a certain type of clothing for this. I would have to mess around with. So I guess I'll pick that up real quick. Mm, something related to smart clothes. So give me one second. Found the shorts I was missing out on. Definitely gonna need these. There you go. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Glad you okay, found Okay, no, I was, I was kind of kidding about shorts. They're more like accessories and stuff. But yeah, accessories are pretty nice too. I get the right side as well. Mm -hmm. Tell your friends where you got it. Just taking off the boxes right now. Seems to be all of them. Low key, I almost forgot about the hat. Let me get these we right away. Bucket hat on because I'm a real last jigger. We appreciate your business. Flare ups and all that. Yeah, no, I think I got most of them. It's like almost a hundred hats at this point. Thanks for shopping with us. Sun hats are important too. That seems to be all of them. Do 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 do. Oh wait. Hold on, I see one of my dealers nearby. Let me go pay them a visit. I got that sticky icky icky, the marriage of one and all these other assorted minerals and vitamins that I can sell you. Go here, take them. Later. All the ish. Mm -hmm. Taking me my money. All right, let me get on this again. I wonder, how does he afford all that? Don't you worry your pretty little head. Here's the spot. I just wanted to show up on a drag bike because I think being extra is super cool. But yes, let me go acclimate myself with the new clientele. Mod, what's going on? Let me go see. How are y'all doing today? Okay. Hello. How are you doing, honey? You the new owner? Yep. I'm Mod. I know you can't tell, but I'm thrilled to meet you. Mm. Takes a savvy investor to jump on an opportunity like this one. The price reflects our top tier personnel. Uh, just uh, give me a second here. Mm -hmm. Now, you don't look much like a bail enforcement agent, but who the hell does? 
One should never judge a bounty hunter by their cover, no matter how weird or scrappy or downright psychotic. Mm -hmm. Now I gotta wrap up here, but my daughter Jeanette should be around here somewhere. Jeanette! Get out here and meet the new owner. They're here? Oh. Another Jean! Oh boy. She's excited to start running an office all by herself. She'll take care of all the sourcing and paperwork for you since I won't be around. Confirm that's actually the guy's ringtone. Think of her as your very large, very loud shadow. Hey there, hi. Jeanette Eccles, junior assistant bounty hunter at your service at Chomping at the Bit. My nice to meet you. help you with whatever you need so I can learn about how, you know, all this works. And, well, who better learn from than somebody with a resume like yours? I Absolutely. I've bounties on your head than anybody in L.S. Mm. Oh, Mama, you're using your ball. Yep, working on it. Gonna take it home with me, too, so I can keep it up while I watch Underbelly of Paradise. Proud Sounds good. Mm. Take him back there, honey, and make him feel at home. There's a sale over at Dawn's Country, so Mama's gonna head out in a few, then you'll be on your own. Welcome to your new bottom dollar bail enforcement office. Jeanette will take good care of you. Okay, so Sounds great. all this back here is yours, baby. Okay, mm -hmm. first things first. This is a bounty hunting gig. No, bail enforcement, because, you know, if you kill them, it's a whole thing, right? True, I mean, true. We got procedures for stuff like that, because Mama's new boyfriend works down at the morgue, but you oh. know, we definitely want to try to bring him back alive, because then I got to deal with all the blood and dead body parts in the van. And Oh, I'm no, sure yeah, that's not good. It's kind of a hygiene issue. And, <sighs> get you a new one of those. Anyway, they pay more for the live ones, and you lack money, don't you? Yep. Uh, I thought so. <laughs> all right. Let me show you how we do all this. Okay. okay. I'm leaving. Training wheels are officially off, Jeanette. Make me proud. I'll see you at home, Ma. Uh, bacon, mac, and cheese later, right? Oh, get some for me. Uh, don't forget your ball. No, honey. She deserves a nice retirement. Mm -hmm. I'm just glad she's finally letting me handle this stuff on my own. So anyway... I'm a real visual learner myself. I need pictures and whatnot to really get stuff, you know? Yo, same, bro, same. Assistant, I will always have a little slideshow uploaded right there on your computer of all your targets. All you got to do is choose your target. Oh, and... Uh, I got you. After that, you just go get them and bring them back here and take them to that holding cell up front. That's it. Easy. Now, let's seal the deal. All right. Now, mind if I do you? Uh, yeah, because okay. trying, to, trying to be super formal right this. now. And uh, if you need anything else, I got it. Will do. I'll hit you up for like a whole bunch of stuff. So, uh, yeah, let me just make myself at home here. That's a pretty good impression. So, yeah, I guess I met with them. Let's get it. See what this uh, DLC is all about. Apparently, I am now a bounty hunter, so I can right. nab those you chaps. Got, you got four fugitives in front of you, and what they're worth. The real nasty ones are worth more money, but the little shits are fewer and further between. Ideally, we gotta hand them over alive for the full payout, but mistakes happen, you know? At least Murph, Ma's boyfriend at the morgue, can handle the uh, messier ones. We'll still get paid, but it'll be a cut to the money, so best keep them wriggling. <laughs> I'll update this database regularly with what I know. So just log on in and see who we got out there. Something tells me that I'm going to be needing my stun gun for this. All right, that one's a weird one. She's a serious businesswoman, a CEO. So obviously, she dodges everything that comes her way. <laughs> Quarterly reviews, taxes, conspiracy to murder charges. And now, she's jumped bail by being, get this, dead. <laughs> Honestly, people will try anything. Yo, chill. She looks like one of my college exes. Oh, my God. This is going to be a little awkward. Well, we better go capture her and make sure that she gets the long arm of the justice. Let's uh, do things by the book. Uh, purchase all the ammo, of course. Grab the heavy armor. And uh, get started on doing the job on my own. Because I don't necessarily need people to take down this chap right here. 
Get in that van. Don't you worry about that. It's a little strange, not gonna lie. Somehow dies because of a tennis ball accident. Yeah, I'd be questioning it too. That's fucking weird. I can see why they're acting this way. That's a really nifty app to have if it's just going to use AI technology to just scan the body's face and see whether or not it's her. But then they got to have like information of like what she looks like behind the mask anyway. So like, hmm, you got to look into that company. But yes, I'm going to go to the morgue right now because we got to see if it's like an absolute match. I'm just huffing it right now. There's somebody here, so let's try to get rid of him real quick. Okay, net going in here. Sorry, not sorry. I had to do what I had to in order to make sure everything was cool. Okay, I'm gonna go check out the cabinets right now. It doesn't seem like I tripped any alarms, so I'll go check out the cabinets. Hmm, okay. This looks like it would be the place where presumably her body was kept at. Just take a photo of the body and send it my way. Okay, uh, this is what it looks like, more or less. What's the verdict on this? Well, I don't know who the hell's laying on that slab, but it ain't Grace Whitney. I feel like that's a crime of some sort. I don't know if she can be, like, legally held reprehensible for that. Alright, clear out of there. I'll try and figure out where the real Grace Whitney's hiding. I feel like the real Grace Whitney would be hiding in plain sight of sorts because she would still be alive if she's not dead. Okay, so if I'm a billionaire trying to start a new life, the first thing I'm gonna need is cash. Apparently Whitney's super into art, got her own collection. I say we head over to her gallery to start. I got a feeling she'll sell all her bullshit in there first. Okay, well, I guess we'll go to an art gallery then because it would make sense that if like she's still alive, she would want to be there live to see her gallery being sold. So that seems like the next logical place to visit her at. If the world thinks Whitney is dead, then she's probably pretending to be somebody else. You know, wearing a wig, trying for a fresh start and all that shit. That's but weird. she still looks like a bitch though. Yeah, that's true. I don't want to deal with people like that, but, uh, she's that sort of way. And me getting involved with, like, these scuffles and stuff like that doesn't help things in a bit. I go through the underground parking lot so nobody sees you coming up. 
Yeah, that's true. That's kind of like an indiscreet incognito way to like figure out what's going on with these people. Low key. Let's assume Whitney's had a little makeover since she quote unquote died. So don't let her fool you. Yeah. We're gonna take down these goobers. Hey, you like my new hair? I look like a totally different person, right? Something like oh. that. God, the general population is so stupid. Don't trust it, Loki says. She still doesn't know that the jig is up. So get past the guards, then focus on her. What am I doing that out of hand? Because that's literally really parasocial. And weird. Hey, you should swap a painting or something while you're in there. I won't tell on you. It ain't like she doesn't deserve it, and we can sell it for some extra cash. Yeah, I'm just gonna take those vehicles. <laughs> Honestly, I can't believe I didn't think of this sooner. Anybody who goes to prison these days is either too poor or too dumb. Yeah, it's more like a race issue, low key, but that's the thing. I want to try to even the playing field right now because people want to try to take me down and claim me as like part of the problem, but I want to fix the problem. Ah, oh, fudge. Okay, she pulled the alarm, so. I kind of have to do whatever I have to to make sure that everything's okay. Everybody got hit. Fuck you, I'm gonna take that money for myself. I'm gonna grab this bag and just put that drawing in there real quick. But yeah, you go watch that. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna peacefully cut that out real quick because I want to have continuous wealth and if I could do that with this, that's great. Going upstairs, no repercussions whatsoever. I have almost iron sight grips when it comes to that ish. A little weird that you choose not to like signify me when it comes to you. the OGs of GTA. Because I've done my fair share of stuff. And I deserve my clap. It's it's good. I've done my thing. I do stuff. I'm gonna grab this real quick because I wanna use my type of stealth to like take down the heli. Oh, shit, I did so I could take down the rest of the helis right now. Oh, God, I shot him. Ah, He's just really quiet right now so I'm making sure that I wipe out the rest of the enemies at the moment. Nobody else at the time. It just seems a little strange. Yo, what up, Chief? Hello? She's there. You should be careful. I am. Um, I just want to hide right now. A secret to everybody, but I better make sure that she's unarmed at the moment. So I'll get rid of these people and make sure that she is just absolutely okay. Take the stun gun to make it easier. Okay, I might need to get closer at this point. Not it. Make sure you take out her bodyguards first. Oh fuck. I don't know if she had bodyguards like that. Move! 
Don't move. Yeah. Aha. You got. Okay, we are out of here. Oh boy, this will be fun. Oh, good thing it's a short drive away. Fudge. Oh my god. No. Don't worry, we'll be there soon. I hope your mediocre bounce. Surely my plastic surgeon will be allowed to visit regularly. That's kind of weird. It just like cut her off at like the dialogue or something like that. Ooh, Kaden. Well, we're at a destination. <laughs> Yeah, you're used to those uh, steel chairs. They're gonna be uh, quite comfy. Sort of, kind of, maybe. Only five racks from a take? Hmm. That doesn't really sound very lucrative. You should probably do something about that. Come on, Rockstar, please. Have a seat. You'll be here for a bit. Yeah, we better get her like a, a 3DS or something. Sure. Yeah, just keep doing those jabs. I've got your number, asshole. La la la, I'm not listening. Yeah, yo, you could uh probably run something by them too. Hmm. Can't go in and interact. That would be pretty funny though. The point of laugh at them. Sure. But, all right. Okay, the two agents are out. Let me go talk hey. to Jeanette again. Hey, go fuck yourself. Would you shut the hell up? <laughs> I can't believe that bitch thought changing her hair was enough to throw us off the scent. How dumb does she think we are? You think I won't sue, huh? If I'm going to Bowling Broke, I'm bringing you animals with me. Ah, shut up. Yeah, I swear to God. She should have never decided to do that. Her roots were showing anyway, so yeah, that's why you always gotta cover your tracks. Okay, let me see if there's any other. Oh, I got dropped into a regular. But yes. I heard bottom dollar bail enforcement just picked up its first bounty. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Jeanette said you're a real nice boss too didn't yell at her once seems like you two got a nice thing going she finds the bounties you bring them in i watch my shows in peace thanks again yeah fighting crime when you're on the other opposite side of it doesn't seem that bad it's not as lucrative but yeah it could be something i get used to this ladies ladies could you not? Need something? Nah, just peace of mind. I was gonna run some errands in the back. Let me just sit, scooch into my position here. Hold on. Nice chair. Okay, let's see what other work I got for myself. What'd you get for me? Okay, other people. And you Car uh, fraud, insurance fraud, more fraud. <laughs> This lady took out credit lines in all her housekeeper's names to buy luxury decor. Ruin their lives. But I will admit the pictures of her place are stunning. <laughs> I want to hear all the juicy details when you brought her fancy ass back here. Oh, yeah, we can work on that. Hold on. So you get to visit a famous frugal star. Okay. All right, listen. So, our fraudster, India Wood, she's an infamous Nepo baby who wasn't getting enough net, so she killed her mama. Inherited the mansion hey, as well as her fortune for now. <laughs> My bet is she'll be holed up there. There's a joke in there somewhere about sheltered superstars, but all right, let's, let, let's see what this chick has got going on. Hmm, near the good area of Richmond. Just watch out for any 
Oh no, I think the security are giving me a uh, quite the welcome right now. Okay, so we got to we got we got to destroy destroy her stuff. Can't do this quietly either. All right. It does kind of suck just racking up the damages for all this stuff. Looks really nice. She got a purple Lambo. These are some nice cars. Why can't I just steal them? Damn. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, let me just destroy these first. She's got, not the tractor. Oh, the tractor. <laughs> Yay, I can ride it. Can I mow the lawn? Nah, I can't. Budge. Ooh, it even has a honk button. I don't really remember if, like, you could ride those types of things, like, in the main game, but, like, that's a pretty neat addition. Okay. I think they stopped noticing. I can probably move back. Mm. Oh, that's just the tires. I was about to say, are they shooting at me? Okay, get him with the element of surprise. Damn. You know, I was expecting it to be a little bit more destructible, but okay. Mm -hmm. There you go, all that stuff. Why can't I can't shoot the inside of the windows. I wouldn't call that destroyed, but alright. Mm. To reload. Whoa. They got really good armor. Oh, yeah, you're kind of in the way. All that, and they're only like, we're only halfway through. Okay. Hey, what else can I smash up? Move. I guess just wiping out security would be fun at this point. Mm hmm. Hey, if she's not moving, you could cut the power. Mark my words, she won't stay in there for long. Not without her home. Yeah, I was about to say, like, hmm, isn't there a way that we could speed this up a bit? Okay. Why have I not noticed that here in all this time? I think I might have, like, brushed past it or something at least. Or they just, like, install these when it's relevant, which kind of sucks. Come on, let me interact with this already. Bit of ish. Do I have to go around? What the fudge? I, in fact, did have to go around, which kind of sucks. You have a very robotic way of having your character do certain animations, though. It's odd, but eh, it's doable. Alright, let's go get her. Where you at? Come out with your hands up. I won't shoot you, I promise. To the best of my ability. Alright. Here's behind your back. Lucky for you, they're just your size. Now you and Grace can shit talk each other. Uh -oh. You're dead. You're dead. I really shouldn't be though. I mean, I have heavily reinforced concrete and armor that's protecting us from being shot at. Loki, you'll make it. Didn't really say much. I guess she slowly accepted her fate. Oh well. All right, now come on, just uh, walk into the building. Here you go. Bob's your uncle. Well, they're gonna have fun. Hey, I heard you made a real mess of her place. Oh, wish I could have seen it. Eh, it'll be all over Bleeder later. Okay, let me see. What other types of stuff can we do? Is there more out there? Oh, well, let me uh refill my snackies, of course. Get some of that good old whiskey and rye. Those are my guys. 
Is it really worth sleeping, though? Not really. There's still some work to be made. I'll, I'll get the safe later. There doesn't seem to be anything in it at the time. Maybe uh, if I keep bringing out my agents, I'll get more money. So there's that. Let's see what else is on the display. Okay, they're all processing. Robbery and burglary charges. Rumor is he also kills all his witnesses. Whoa. Can't prove it though. Ain't any living witnesses. We've got ourselves an old school member of the Korean mob. Figure that means some old school justice is in order, don't you think? Oh yeah, he finna see what happens when high means me. All right, I've been keeping my ear to the crowd with LJ for a while now. Man's got robbery and burglary to his name and suspected in a bunch of hits tied to the Korean mall. Got word this morning, he's about to rob a bank. Now's your chance to get him out in the open, so get over there fast. Oh, heck yeah. You gonna try to rob a bank? Nah, not while I'm around. Whoop. I meant to do that. See, this is more or less a description of his face. Yeah, I literally just saw that earlier. Okay, well, I guess for everyone else. It's all fun and games until I go get you. They seem to forget that I'm heavily armed. Oh. Hey, stop. I'm gonna fill you with holes, fuck. What was that? <laughs> Hold on. Let me just move past the geometry of this room. Alright, come on. Assume the position. Watch your head. You're lucky it's padded. Okay, away we go. Sorry guys, I beat him. Pull over, stupid. Now. I don't think I will, buddy. Got the cops off my tail. Oh, man, I'm gonna kill you. Uh, you're gonna have to wait until we get to the office for that one, buddy. They're gonna kill you with the processing fees for sure. Bro, if you act nice, you can get your two to five phone calls a week. Now, come on, you gotta step out of the car, please. Don't make this any weird. Here you go. All right, have at you. Blame ass. La la la, I'm not listening. Nan, any boo boo, you're a criminal, and I'm not. Well, uh, hmm. Let's just let's just keep that out of low. You really knew how to handle yourself during a robbery, huh? <laughs> I won't read into that. Yeah, that's uh that would be a great idea. Let's just let bygones be bygones. Alright, let's see. What's up next? Should I stock up on my snacks? No 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 no, I'm good on snacks right now. Let me just assume the position. Okay. I think I'm getting close to like ending the the mount for the day. I think my last target is Bo Duggan. All right, I got this one just for you. <laughs> Jump bail during a grand larceny trial. Had a scam running a fake bank. Cleaned a few dozen decent folk out of their life savings. Must be a talker, cause <laughs> he ain't a looker. But then again, Duggans never are. <laughs> Yeah, no, swindling people out of money, that's terrible. What the fudge? All right, time to meet the long arm of justice. So, Bo Duggan, charged with grand larceny. Last we heard, he was running things on the down low. The paper trail led us to an old bar, but that place has been out of business these past years. Shady, I know. My bets are, that's where to look. Mm, well, if that bar is one of those like old school hangouts where people have like the NFTs and other ish like that. Then yeah, they'll, they'll be pretty easy to find. There's been a, a, a slew of closings around my area where I live, so yeah, the only thing that is surviving right now are the bars that are usually open late at night, occasionally some of the food stores still are up and running because they have really loyal clientele, locally owned of course, that sort of thing. 
All right, one of several Duggins, you're coming with. Whoops, you're coming with me. Nearby, I can just smell it. Oh, I will. I will be on my P's and Q's. Let's just... Hmm, what's the best way to approach this? Head on, of course. Hold up. Let me just get my bearings. They're probably not down there. Time to get the drop on these ops. Head up in my bearing. Actually, no. Let's try to get the guy out there approaching with a bulletproof vest. They're like, who the heck is that guy? Alright, so boom. Guess we're going in here. Special delivery. Now, if Get I could just do this quietly. Oh no. I thought Buddy was a crap shot. I'm reloading! Okay. How did that not go through? Hold on. Fudge. Which way should I push? Okay, if I go this way. Hmm. I'm gonna kill you! I can totally see you. Okay, what about over here? You piece of shit! Oh, come on. What? Rockstar, come on, dude. I'll see you in hell. That. That's a weird place to put a structure. Inbred texture. Okay, if I go over here on the left, there might be like maybe one or two people. Suck my leg! All right, he might be stuck there. Let me just advance. Oh, oh, oh okay. Over here, we got a man down. Fuck. Got him. We got a man down. You have several at this point. Might as well call for backup. Okay. There should be an office somewhere here. Not behind any of these obvious places. Well, I have an office too, Inbred so it moron. should be obvious where the hell that. Ah, of course, the nondescript Madame Nazar statue thingy. Although, hmm, is there anything else shit. I can take from here? Nothing? No. I thought this was a door. Okay, then. I guess I'll go speak Inbred with the Madame. Moron. I guess I just have like a quarter on me. Kaden. You piece of shit! Alright, I'm gonna go get you. Damn. Hey, I'm buddy, gonna lay you flat. Oh, no, you not. I am going to wait for my health to get and we'll take you down. Aha! That's the weapon. What? Here. Now stop that. Don't struggle. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Right this way. Stick with those airwaves for you now. You low-down dog. You got him? Then let's get him locked up here before his people come after him. Cock-sucking piece of trash! I wonder what the rest of your family's gonna think of it. If only an O'Neill was here, I would have captured y'all both and seen you struggle. Oh well. Can't win them all. Alright, get out the car. Follow my rules, walk into this cell, and you'll be fine. Now go make friends with the others. Seriously, what's your problem? How much? Ah, shut up. So are y'all gonna talk or hmm. Okay, the ladies got processed already. Hmm. I knew that bar was a front for something. Yeah, I just hope that whenever a bar does open up around there, it'll actually be worth something. Hmm. Looks like this might be the end of the capers for now. Or do they regenerate? Is there another one? I hope so. Let me see. Ah, okay, lucky. They do. All right, Cook Kenzie, it's up. You're up next. Oh, okay. This is seriously fresh. <laughs> Guy was in prison awaiting trial when he jumped the freaking bus. And he stole a regular bus, and let's not get into what happened to that, but if we're gonna get him, <laughs> we need to get on it now. 
So wait, you steal two buses? I mean, that's a crazy stretch of luck, but okay, I'll take this job. Okay, I got the alert this morning. A goddamn real life Supermax prison break. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> I've sent you Kenzie's last location where he jumped the prison bus. We have to grab him before anyone else does. Yeah, this does sound like something that's gonna garner a lot of cloud if it works out for us. Let's see where he Okay, I, I know what he looks like, Jeanette, but you know what? Let me just go to the crack side. Wild that we're going all the way back out here again just to find him. Listen, he's out there. Get a piece of my mind. Okay, well, I do see the clothes here. Looks like you might have gotten into a bit of a scuffle. Okay, now that only leads where he could have gone. Guess he needs to take somebody's clothes. There's a bloody trail there. Oh shit, I got that detective vision. Mm. Alright, follow the blood trail. Where could it lead us? Fudge. Okay. Yeah, I'm guessing this is a police officer. He might have taken his gun or something. Nothing now, but a giant place. He should be somewhere around this area, naturally. But, uh, hmm. Things can be deceiving. All I gotta do is just go with my gut instincts. If I was a criminal, where would I stop by nearby? Okay, I think the bike might help. Yeah, where are they? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I hear a lock on. They must be nearby. Aha! Gotcha. Alright, hold on. We do the old fashioned way. Hey, y'all, stop right there. Freeze, let me see your hands. They oh, never oh, want to oh, just do oh, things oh, out. I don't understand. Why are they being so violent? Oh, oh, Only thing to hey, do now is put them down you permanently. You got no place to run. Ballless OG. Glad to do you. Hold up, he's right behind him. How do I isolate them both? Die. I can just neutralize them. There we go. Stop. Fight. Stop resisting! Ow! I just want to talk with you. Yeah. There you go. Give that up. Alright. We're done here. You robbed your last van. Now get in this other one. Amateurs. Man, you got one last chance to let me out. Let me think about it. You punk motherfucker. You cop mother trucker. How's them apples? Yeah, I'm definitely taking you to the office. It's okay, we're good. This thing can correct itself. It's self-flipping. I meant to do that. <laughs> Might feel a hard left. No pressure. Do not fall when you get into the cell. It can be a little slippery. Now, time for you to cool off. I'm gonna break your motherfucking face. La, la, la. I'm not listening. Damn, you really came with that last job with the Moorhead Rides Again vibes. <laughs> nice work, detective. Yep. Yeah, this is gonna be a thing now. Ooh, okay. Bountiful. I do catch the bounties. All right, still breathing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm quite persistent. Ooh, cash on delivery. Of course, I gotta do what I gotta do. And on that note, I better lay my head down. All this detectiving has led me to want to take a lunch break. So yeah, uh, don't touch that dial, guys. I'll come back to you real soon with some more crime fighting antics. Now don't bother me, I'm on my lunch break.